Well, greetings, everybody. Jeffrey Guterman. And uh, we are here on the Stratomatic Baseball Network for game one of a doubleheader. <coughs> the Cincinnati Reds at the Montreal Expos. Uh, the date is August 12th in our 1969 replay. And we're so glad to have you here. So glad to have you. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Guterman, um, and it's a beautiful morning. There's lots of things I could worry about, but I think I, I will put those aside. Uh, and enjoy this ball game. Hello, oh, Kathy Harden has arrived. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Kathy Harden has arrived. Oh, I'll tell you. It's not the same without you, Kathy Harden. And it's great to have you here with me. Uh, I'm looking forward. I have a double header here. And it's all set here. As you can see, I have both games all set. I do have to put in the fielding ratings for this first game. It'll be Tony Cloninger for the Reds and Steve Ranko for the Expos, both right-handers. Reds come into this five games over 500, 10 and a half behind Atlanta in the West. Montreal, 20 games below 500, 21 behind the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's look at our opening lineups for the Cincinnati Reds leading off in right field is Pete Rose. Thank you, Kathy Gordon. Batting second, Jimmy Stewart in center. Batting third is Alex Johnson. He's in left. Cleanup hitters, Tony Perez, he's at third base. Lee May at first, batting fifth. Pat Corral is pit, uh, catching. Uh, Bench will start the second game. Bench pinch hit for Corral is in real world in this game. The Expos won the, first, the real world game, 8-3. Corral is, again, catching and batting sixth. Batting seventh, he's a pretty good catcher, by the way. He's a two minus one. Batting seventh is Woodward at short. And Trent Smith has arrived. Good morning to you, Trent. Chico Ruiz batting eighth at second base. And it's Tony Cloninger, the pitcher. Batting ninth, he's a two NR and a four in the field. For the Expos, and this seems unusual to me, but I, I use baseball reference for the starting lineups. And uh, okay, Ron Brand leading off the catcher. He is a one to thirteen uh, running. I'm just not used to a catcher leading off. That in second run fairly, he's playing center field. I told you, he, you'll be seeing more of Ron Fairley in the lineup here at the end of the season. Rusty Staub bats third, he's in right. Matt Jones in left, he's the cleanup hitter. Coco Leboy is at third. Bob Bailey at first. That in seventh, Donald, uh, Donald Gary Sutherland, he's at second base. Bobby Wine at short, batting eighth, and Steve Renko, the pitcher. Batting ninth, and he is a 6-NR-3. And uh, 
Beautiful, beautiful morning for a game. For a doubleheader, for that matter. We'll see how we go through this one. We'll see how the coffee holds up. And uh, if we... Oh, I hurt my right foot a little bit. But it's getting better. Oh, now it just itches. That's weird. Oh. And we're at Jerry Park. Go. Oh. Ow. And the Expos <laughs> take the field. I'm gonna refill my coffee here. I got almost a full pot of muscle spirit of coffee. And leading it off for the Reds is Pete Rose. Switch hitter. And he'll bat left-handed against Steve Ranko here. I'm staying. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. What the hell is the problem here? Oh, it's just... And Rose steps in, switch hitter, he'll bat left against Ranko. Ah, here's Ranko now. He's ready. Here's the wind up. The pitch to Rose. 1 9, and he grounds it to first. Picked up by Bailey. Takes it to the bag. There's one away. And we're underway here at Cozy Jerry Park. That brings up Jimmy Stewart, switch hitter, batting left against Rinko. Get some great ball games. Yesterday was uh, just an awesome game. Bill Singer with a gem of a shutout. Beat the Cardinals. Dodgers beat the Cardinals. It's one out, nobody on. Stewart at the plate, switch hitter. And Kathy Harden is going with Cincinnati. Uh, that's fine by me. Stewart, switch hitter, batting left. Here's Renko now. Uh, 3-7. Grounds it to first again. It's Bailey. Takes it to the bag. It's two away. And Alex Johnson is the batter. Our second game is scheduled for... this afternoon, but who knows when we'll play it. We may play it this morning. It's scheduled for 2 p.m. Okay, Renko, facing Alex Johnson. Here's the pitch. 6-2, right-handed, hit deep by Johnson to left. Going back is Jones, Mac Jones, and he's there at the warning track. He's got it. So it's a one, two, three for Alex Johnson. Uh, for Steve Renko, I'm sorry, it's early. And after a half, it's Cincinnati nothing, Montreal coming about. This is the 1969 replay, and we are enjoying it very much. We're in the dog days of August. You see, you remember when we started this, we had some amazing pitching. Uh, you remember, Kathy, like on August 1, August 2. And you see it's taken how long it's taken us to get to the 12th. It's a, it's a nice pace. Nice pace. Uh, this is game 1370 out of 
1944. Okay, Cloninger is on the mound now. He'll face Ron Brand. Very unusual to have Ron Brand. Uh, Gene Mork mixing it up here. Has Brand leading off. Here's Cloninger now. And the pitch to Brand, 5-4 right-handed. Fly ball to center. Stewart, he's a four. 1-4. One oh, and he makes the catch. Nice catch by Stewart out in center field, one away. And here's Ron Fairley. Check the tweet how that worked out. There it is. Hey, it's looking good. Picture is stopped. And it's the, the link works, so it's very nicely done. Very nicely done. Fairley is a left-handed hitter. Uh, here's Cloninger now, the pitch to Fairley. That's 2-7, and he grounds it to first, and Lee May scoops it and takes it to the bag, two outs. You know, it's quite easy for me to read these, Kathy. I think I have found my ultimate combination here and here's Rusty Star two outs nobody on Cloninger ah. into his windup and the pitch to Star that's 3-8 right-handed walked him boy look at those walks so Staub is on with two outs well, he walked 110 times. And Mac Jones, the batter. Staub on first with two outs. <laughs> Here's the pitch from Cloninger to Mac Jones. That's 3-7 right-handed, struck him out. And that's the side, no runs, no hits, the walk to Staub, he was left on base. And after one, it's a scoreless ball game. India meets with uh, Biden. Modi, a uh, an autocrat, a, a bigot, a racist. Uh, but you know, we're living in a very complicated world. You have to, uh, you have to uh, work with people like that. Okay, we're here in the top of the second. I, I, that's something I need to understand, you know. Uh, uh, Renko now. He retired the Reds in order. Here's Tony Perez to lead it off. Beautiful morning here at Jerry Park. It's a doubleheader. This was played in the day in real world. Ah, okay, Renko. Here's the windup and the pitch to Tony Perez. 3-2, ah, he walked him. So there's the first base runner for Cincinnati. It's Perez on first and Lee May is the batter. The dangerous Lee May. <coughs> and 
Fine wrinkle will work from the stretch here. The face May. And the pitch to May. That's 4-5 right-handed. Grounds it to short. Wine. He's a 3. 2-3. Two, three, that goes through for a base hit. Perez rounds second and goes to third. The Reds have first and third. Nobody out here. In the top of the second. With Pat Corrales coming up. Expos will play the infield back. They'll concede a run for a double play. Okay, Renko now. The pitch to Corrales. Three, three, nine. And he struck him out. Oh, that was a big one by Renko. Now the Expos have a chance to get out of this on a double play. It's one out first and third. And Woody Woodward is the batter. Again, infield back. Renko, the pitch to Woodward. <clears throat> One nine, right hander. There's a fly ball to left. That's going to be deep enough for Perez to tag. Mac Jones makes the catch, and Perez comes home. It's one nothing, Cincinnati. One nothing ball game. Two outs with May on first. And Chico Ruiz comes to the plate, switch hitter batting left against Renko with May on first two down. <clears throat> Almost big red machine. Yes, this was like the eve of the big red machine. Here's the pitch to Chico Ruiz. That's 3-5. And that's a base hit to, to right by Chico. We may goes to second. One to 14, two outs, one to 16, minus four, one to 12, he holds. And here's Cloninger, the pitcher, Tony Cloninger. First and second, two down. Renko trying to get out of this. <clears throat> okay, Renko, the pitch to Cloninger. Right-handed hitter, 4-11, he flies it to right field and Staub is there. And the side is retired, but there was one run for the Reds on a walk, a single, a sacrifice fly, another single. Two left on. After uh, one and a half, it's one nothing Cincinnati. Yeah, let me get some coffee here. And we are glad to have you here on the Stratomatic Baseball Network. Oh. Very strange things happening in the news. Let me get that coffee, please.
play until the coffee runs out. That's what I'll do. Here's Coco LeBoy now. Reading it off for the Expos. It's one nothing Reds, bottom of the second. Cloninger on the mound. Here's the pitch. 5-4, LeBoy right-hander. Fly ball to center. Stewart a four again. 13-4, and he can't get it. It drops in for a base hit. So LeBoy opens up with a single here. And Bob Bailey, the batter. The boy on first. Nobody out. Ah, he's the tying run. Here's Cloninger from the stretch. And the pitch to Bailey. 4-7. He walked him. So... Expos have first and second to lead it off. Nobody out for Gary Sutherland. A bunter, but he'll hit away. Ah, here's Cloninger now. The pitch to Sutherland. That's 1-8. Right-hander. Base hit to right field. For Sutherland, will the boy stretch at home? I don't think so. He's not too swift. He's a one to nine. Rose throws it in. It's bases loaded, nobody out. Cloninger in trouble here. <coughs> and Bobby Wine is the batter. The infield is back. Reds will concede a run here for two outs. Oh, that's good coffee. Whoa. Oh, that's good coffee. <laughs> Here's Cloninger now. Full wind up and the pitch to wine. That's 310, right hander. Fly ball left. Going back is Johnson and LeBoy tags. So they also, here the, the Expos get a sacrifice fly ball to score LeBoy, and it's a tie ball game. Just like the Reds, Bobby Wine lifts it into left field for the run. It's a 1-1 ball game. It's one out, first and second, and here's Steve Ranko. He's a good hitting pitcher, 6-NR, Kathy Hart. Good coffee, good game. Oh, Christ, it's a good coffee, good game. Unrelenting heat in Texas. What a world we're living in. Uh, 68 deaths in India from the heat. All these deaths I hear about. And none of them are me. I, I should consider myself lucky, huh? <laughs> God almighty. Uh, and I worry about such stupid stuff. One out, first and second. Here's the pitch to Renko. Here's a 6 nr 3-7, struck him out. That's the second by Tony. Tony trying to get out of this. And it'll be Ron Brand. Two outs. First and second. It's a 1 1 ball game. Good coffee, good game, good people. Ah. Okay, here's Cloninger now. The pitch to Brand. That's 6 8 right handed. Grounds it to third for. Tony Perez, and he whips it over to Lee May, and the side is retired. But there was one run on a sacrifice fly. And after two innings, it's a tie ball game, 1-1. One, one. <coughs> and we move to the top of the third here. It's a nice, clean 1-1 one, one ball game. Ah, it's 
going to be the top of the Reds order here. And Pete Rose will lead it off. He's a switch hitter, batting left against Renko. Yeah. Here's the pitch to Rose. 1-5, and he hits it well into the gap. It's going to be extra bases. Rose rounding second at third with a triple, a leadoff triple by Pete Rose. Off his own car. He had 11 triples in real world, Kathy Orton. So Pete Rose triples off Renko here in the top of the third. Rose on third, nobody out. Jimmy Stewart the batter. Stewart switch hitter batting left-handed against Ranko from the stretch. And here's the pitch to Stewart. That's 1-5 right-handed, and that's going to go through also. And that's a triple. Back-to-back -back triples. Rose scores. And it's 2-1. to one. How do you like that? That's rare. Back-to-back -back triples. Jimmy Stewart... Apparently, he had some triples. Well, he had four, but only 221 at-bats. Back-to-back triples, an oddity, as far as I'm concerned. Let's look at that again. 1-5, triple 1-14. to 14. <clears throat> So, Renko allows... Back-to-back -back triple, triples here. And now it's Alex Johnson. Okay, Renko now. The pitch to Johnson. 1-8, right-hander. Base hit! Stewart scores. It's 3 to nothing, Reds. Renko in trouble here. Two triples, then a base hit. <coughs> and here's Tony Perez. Johnson on first. Still nobody out. Okay, Renko. Pitch to Perez. That's 5 4 right handed. Grounds it to third X. LeBoy is a four. Uh, that's a re roll on the 20 die only. That's 16 4, and he boots it for the error. Those fours are going to catch up with you eventually. An error by Coco LeBoy at third base. It's first and second. So things are going. Poorly here for the Expos in the third. <clears throat> First and second, nobody out. Here's Lee May. May singled in the in the second. Three nothing Reds here. Pitch to May. That's three six right handed, and that's a double to center field. You see that? Double to center, Kathy Harden, for Lee May. A clean, too. Johnson scores. Perez goes to third. He'll probably hold. This is where we do slow motion. Perez, 1-11, to 11, will hold. At second and third, there's action in the Expos' bullpen. They're, they had August 11 off. And uh, it's Don Shaw, the left-hander, warming, along with Claude Raymond, the right-hander. See if he can get out of this second and third. Nobody out still. Three runs in, it's 4-1 Cincinnati. And here comes Corrales. He struck out. Pitch from Renko. Uh, that's a 110 right hander. Struck him out again. Uh, that's the first out. Here's Woody Woodward. 
Okay, Renko, here's the pitch. That's 5-12 right-hander, grounder to first, Bailey a four. These fours are gonna kill them today. 6-4, it's a base hit. Perez scores, that's unearned. May goes to third. First and third. Four runs in, 5-1, Cincinnati. First and third, still only one out. And Chico Ruiz is the batter. Switch hitter, batting left against Renko. Trying to get out of this. Infield back, here's the pitch to Chico. 5-9, left-handed. Grounds it to second, double play. The side is finally retired. That was turned over by Sutherland. But there were four runs, one of them unearned. And in the middle of the third, it's a 5-1 to one ball game. How do you like that? The Reds, a precursor to the Big Red Machine. They didn't quite have the pitching. And we move to the bottom of the third. Tough inning there for the Expos and Steve Renko. And here we are in the bottom of the third. It'll be Ron Fairley leading it off. Here's Cloninger now on the mound. The pitch to Fairley. That's 1-6 right-handed. And that's going to be a double for Ron Fairley. Stand up to lead it off. So fairly on second, nobody out on a 1-6 double. And Rusty Staub the batter. Staub walked in the first. And the pitch, 6-9, left-hander. Whoa, that is a base hit for Staub. Fairly rounding third comes home. It's a 5-2 ball game. Two consecutive hits here for the Expos. The double by Fairley, then Staub brings him home. Here's Mac Jones, Staub on first. <sighs> Nobody out. So Cloninger into his own special trouble here in the bottom of the third. <clears throat> okay, here's the pitch to Jones. 4-8 left-hander. And that's going to be a base hit by Jones. Staub goes to second. Three consecutive hits for the Expos. <sighs> First and second, nobody out. Here's Coco. Coco singled and scored the only run for Montreal. The first run, I should say. It's a 5-2 to two game. And LeBoy is the tying run at the plate. Okay, Cloninger trying to settle down. Hits to LeBoy, 3-7, and he flies it to center field, and Stewart is there, one away. Runners hold. Now Bob Bailey. Bailey walked in the second. Here's the pitch from Cloninger. Expo's coming back, yeah, absolutely. 5-12 right-hander. Chops it to first Lee May. He's a three. Can he get this? Yes, he does, and he takes it to the bag. The runners will advance. Two outs, second and third. And Gary Sutherland in a clutch situation. Base hit can bring two home. He's singled in the second. Here's Cloninger now. The pitch to Sutherland. That's 2-5 right-hander. Grounds it to short for Woodward. Throws it over to Tony Perez on the side. Is retired, but the Expos get a run. On three consecutive hits, two left on. After three, it's 5-2 Cincinnati over Montreal. And this is the Stratomatic Baseball Network. We hope you're enjoying the ball game. And we'll be back in just a few minutes.
Indeed, we hope you are doing fine. Absolutely, Kathy Hart. Absolutely. <sighs> Just going through my mentions here, I like to keep up. A lot of insults. I'm going to get some fresh air. When we come back, we'll resume this fall game. Don't engage. You're right, Kathy Harden. Are you? You are so right. Just let them spew their excrement wherever they want. I, I might block some of them, but no, don't engage. I even am reluctant to block them because that shows a form of uh, response. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so, yeah. Don't engage, Kathy Harden says. She's so right. Yeah. She is so right on. Oh, Kathy Harden. Okay, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. 5-2 Cincinnati over Montreal. First of a doubleheader. Nothing to worry about, people. In case you're interested, game two will be Jerry Arrigo for the Reds and Bill Stoneman for the Expos. And the lineup is, uh, looks identical for the, it's a bench for Cincinnati. Montreal shakes it up a little bit. So we'll be looking forward to that ball game. I'll be back in a couple of minutes here. probably find this uh, this submersible. I don't know if they'll lift it up. I don't know if they can lift it up. Uh, but I, I, it really looks bad for these people. I'll be back.
Okay, Tony, great, glad to have you here. Great for good for you. Starting your own league. If you ever broadcast, let us know. I'm gonna get a nice fresh hot cup of coffee here. Oh, we'll continue this ball game. This, again, this is the first of a double header. <clears throat> we expect to play both games today. The second game is scheduled for 2 p.m. Eastern. That would be, it must be very early old out there, 5.13 5, in the morning for you, uh, Tony. Wow. If you're in Oregon. Okay, Renko. On the mound, he allowed he's a, four runs last inning. One of them was unearned. Uh, we'll see how he fares here in the top of the fourth. It's going to be Tony Cloninger leading it off the pitcher. He flew to right in the second. Ah. Okay, Renko now. The pitch to Cloninger. Oh, that's a 4-10. Right-hander grounds it to third, and LeBoy has it, one away. Back to the top, here's Pete Rose, one for two. Tripled to lead off the third. Back-to-back well, -back triples that inning, very unusual. That's good coffee. Mm. Okay, here's Ranko now. The pitch to Rose. That's 2-2. Two -two. And he flies it to left field. Mac Jones is there. Two away. Ranko due up next inning. They'll probably let him stay in this ball game if he gets out of this inning pretty well. Two outs, nobody on. Now Jimmy Stewart switch hitting, batting left. Rinko wines and deals. And that's going to be a 6-11. Left-handed. Hit deep by Stewart. He's got the power. And it's gone. Jimmy Stewart with a solo home run, Kathy Harden. Oh, he's got the power. And that's going to make it a 6-2 ball game. Boy, did he hit that one. We'll check him later. Jimmy Stewart switch hitter. 6-11 there it was. Batting left. End home run 1-13 to against the right-hander. He's got end power. He hit four all season. And that was one of them. I think they've seen enough. There's action in the Montreal bullpen. As I said... Shaw, the left-hander, Raymond, the right-hander, are warming. Now Alex Johnson steps in. For Stewart, a triple and a homer. Working on a cycle here. Here's Renko now. The pitch to Johnson. 6-10 right-hander, fly ball center X. Fairly is a four. Going back, let's see if he can get this. Two, four, no he can't. It drops in for a double. Branko getting hit hard. They're gonna see if he can get Tony. If not, they may have to pull his ass. Here in the fourth when he's due up second in the bottom of the inning. Hate to do that. Tony walked and scored, reached on an error by Coco LeBoy and scored. Johnson on second, two down. 
Rinko. And the pitch, 2-3, right-hander, base hits a left. Johnson rounding third. 1 to 15, 1 to 17 with two outs, minus one, 1 to 16. He's coming home. Here's the throw from Mac Jones. And he's out! Oh, oh, oh. oh Lord, Alex Johnson coming home. A beautiful throw by Al, uh, um, uh, Mac Jones. We'll look at that again. Well, the, the dice got off, but uh, that, that's the side. One run, though on the home run by Stewart. Beautiful throw by uh, Coco LeBoy. Uh, we're in the middle of the fourth. It's a six to two ball game. Renko finally gets out of that. He'll be through. Uh, and they're gonna have the right-hander Claude Raymond coming in next inning because there will be a pinch hitter here. Claude Raymond will be the new pitcher. Renko is through, he pitched four. He allowed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. Uh, he walked one, struck out two, and allowed five earned and one unearned. Here's Tony Cloninger now. Bobby Wine is the leadoff hitter. And we're, we're hitting for Renko, not so much because we think it's gonna really help uh, the hit the, them come back, but uh, Renko's gotta go. Ah, okay, Cloninger. Here's the pitch to Wine. That's three, four right-handed, walked him. It's a six to two ball game. <clears throat> Feels like uh, Montreal down by more than four, but it's only they're only down by four runs here. Let's see who's hitting here. I think it's going to be Jim Ferry, the left-handed hitter. Jim Ferry. Where the hell is he? There he is. He's a left-handed hitter. <clears throat> He didn't have too much playing time, but he's going to hit here. So Ferry steps in. Here's a guy who probably learned how to fight when he was a kid, huh? Jim Ferry, left-handed hitter facing Cloninger. It's wine on first. It's not a good outing for uh, Steve Ranko, and I'm not going to. Uh, I'm really not going to uh, worry too much about it, Kathy. I got my own problems. You know, I mean, I feel bad for him, but, you know, really. Okay, Ferry steps in. Cloninger from the stretch with wine on first, nobody out. Yeah. Okay, here's Cloninger from the stretch and the pitch to Ferry. That's 3-6. And he grounds it to first double play. Isn't that special? A pinch hitter, Jim Ferry, grounds into the double. Cloninger to second to first. And it's two outs and nobody are on. And that'll bring up Ron Brand, the top of the order. Brand 0 for 2. Two outs, nobody on. Ah, here's Cloninger now. And the pitch to Brand, 1-3. And that is a, whoa, a liner to short, caught by Woodward. Nice catch by Woodward there. Side is retired. So it was no runs, no hits, the walk, and none left after a double play. We've gone four full. It's 6-2 Reds over the... Expansion Expos, and here's Claude Raymond coming in from the bullpen. We'll have a brief delay here as he comes in, and then he'll take his warm-ups, and he'll face May, Corrales, and Woodward.
Here comes Claude Raymond yeah, on the golf cart. Don't engage. Don't engage, she says. She's right. Oh. 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 Here we go. Okay, Claude Raymond has arrived to the mound. He'll take his warm-ups. He is in for Renko, Claude Raymond. And he's ready now. And he's gonna face Lee May. May two for two, singled and doubled, knocked in a run. It's six two Reds. See how Raymond fares against these Reds. Ah. Ah. Okay, Raymond is ready. Here's the windup and the pitch to May. That's 2-7. He struck him out. That was a nice start by Claude. <clears throat> Now, Pat Corrales, 0 for 2. He struck out twice by Renko. Raymond into his windup. Here's the pitch to Corrales. 5 4 right. Oops. I'm, on, so I'm pretty low on the juice. Uh, we may overheat this game. If so, look to the community board for explanation. Uh, Corrales, that's a 5-4 right-hander, fly ball center. Fairly, he's a 4. Trying to get to it. 13-4. No, he can't. It drops in for a base hit. So Corrales gets a hit with one out. And Woody Woodward is the batter. The YouTube takes app takes a lot of juice out of uh, your iPhone. Corrales on first, one out, Woodward at the plate, Raymond from the stretch. Here's the pitch. 3-6 <coughs> right-hander, and that's going to be a double down the line. Corrales goes to third. So the Reds continue with the hitting. Second and third one out for Chico Ruiz. Switch hitter batting left-handed against Raymond. So Raymond's got himself in a jam already. Uh, okay, here's Raymond now. The pitch to Chico, 6-7, batting left-handed, and that's going to be a line drive to first, caught by uh, <laughs> Bob Bailey. Big, big out. Nice catch by Bailey. Two away. And now Cloninger comes up. It's two outs with second and third. There's a big out here for Claude. I never thought that would be uh, against the pitcher, but Cloninger is a 2-NR. Here's the pitch from Raymond. Got to strike him out. 5-3 right-hander. That's a fly ball to right. Oh, my Lord. Staub a 4. These 4s will catch up to you. 9-4. That's going to be a triple by Cloninger. Two runs score. How do you like that? Staub could not get that. He misjudged it, but there'll be no error. And it's a two-run, two-out triple by the pitcher, Tony Cloninger. 
My lord. That's going to make it a 8-2 to two ball game. So Raymond gets smashed here in the fifth. Now Cloninger on third, two down. And here's Pete Rose. It's a, turning into a slugfest here for the Reds. Here's Raymond. 4-5, left-handed. And he grounds it to second. Sutherland has it, and the side is retired. But two more runs for the Reds. We're in the middle of the fifth. It's 8-2 Reds. Here comes Cloninger. Roy Face is warming in the bullpen now. I looked at the... He's a right-hander. Uh, Shaw was warming the left-hander, but he's sitting down. Now Face is taking some warm-ups. He pitched in this game in real world. Expos won this game in real world, 8-3. This is a different story. It's 8-2 Cincinnati. Ron Fairley leads it off against Cloninger. Uh, Cloninger's endurance inning is the sixth. Okay, Cloninger is ready. Here's the pitch to Fairley. 2-4, right-hander, grounds it to short, one away. And if you think it's un un unrealistic for the pitcher to hit a triple, uh, you have not been watching Major League Baseball very well because lots of different things can happen. It's one out, nobody on. Here's Staub now. Cloninger winds, and the pitch, 1-7, Staub hits it out to center, and that's a 9. Oh, it's a double for Staub. It fell in the gap. Staub gets a double. He's on second with one out. That's his second hit of the ball game. Singled in the third, walked in the first. Perfect game for Staub today, if you, if you will. So Staub on second, one out. Here's Mac Jones, big Mac Jones. Will Hurd is running for president. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's got a chance, right? <coughs> Here's Tony Cloninger with one out and stop on second. Pitch, uh, uh, pitching to Jones. Here we go. 5'11", left-hander, hit deep by Jones. Way back, it's gone. Jones a two-run home run. Big Mac Jones. Well, that negates the two runs they got last inning, the Reds. A two-run home run by Big Mac Jones. Let's look at that again. 5-11 left-handed and home run 1-13 to against the right-hander. He's got the power, so that's going to be an 8-4 to ball game, and uh, the Expos are almost back in this ball game. And now Coco LeBoy is the batter. Clay Carroll is warming in the bullpen. Clay Carroll. You want to talk about tragedy. I think it was his, either his stepson or his son murdered. I think his, his son, his son, Clay Carroll's son shot Carroll and his wife. And he's still alive, I believe. You want to talk about tragedy. Okay, here's Coco LeBoy now. After the two-run home run by Big Mac Jones. Well, it's a crowded GOP field. It looks like there's 12 people running. Crazy. Here's Coco now. Tony winds and the pitch. 4-10 right-hander, fly ball center. Stewart has it two away. And now Bob Bailey. Bailey walked, grounded to first. This is just one of those games, Kathy Orr. I mean, those... Whatever games. 
Two outs. Here's the pitch to Bailey. That's 4-5 right-hander. Fly ball right field. And Pete Rose makes the catch. The side is out. But two more runs. And Cloninger has not a, exactly pitched good baseball today. Following four runs in five innings, including the two-run home run by Mac Jones. We've gone five. It's 8-4 Cincinnati. And here comes Claude Raymond. They're going to give him another chance here. Uh, he allowed two runs in relief in his first inning. He'll face the heart of the order, Jimmy Stewart, who's two for three. A triple and a home run. He's chasing a cycle. A base hit and a double could do it. We've had one cycle this season. It was Willie Mays early in the season. <clears throat> okay, Raymond is ready. Here's the pitch to Stewart. Batting left-handed, 5-6. He flies it to right. And Staub makes the catch, one away. Now Alex Johnson. This is uh, Raymond's endurance inning. It's, it's in the second inning in relief. Pitch to Alex. That's 5-8 right-handed, pops it to short, and Wine makes the catch, two away for Tony Perez. Like I said, Roy Face warming. Here's the pitch to Perez. 6-7 right-handed, grounds it to second X. That'll be subtle in the three. 6-3. And he throws him out, and the side is retired. One, two, three for Claude. And we're in the middle of the sixth. It's eight, four. Okay, Cloninger has certainly had his troubles. Expo's chipping away here, uh, and we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, Clay Carroll is available. Leading it off, Gary Sutherland, and it'll be Wine and, I assume, a pinch hitter. Face warming up. Here's the pitch to Sutherland. That's 2-4 right-handed. Grounds it to third. Perez over to May. One away. Now Bobby Wine. Wine sacrifice fly and walked. 5-4 right-handed. Fly ball center. Stewart. He's a four, five, four, and he got it. Nice running catch by Jimmy Stewart, two away. And with two outs, they'll have a hitter for Raymond. Uh, he was unimpressive. <laughs> Pitched two innings, three hits, struck out a batter, allowed two runs. Like I said, Roy Face will be the new pitcher. And they'll have a pinch hitter. Sort of an obligatory pinch hitter here with two outs. Let's see who's coming in. It's going to be Ty Klein. Ty Klein, he's a left-handed hitter to face Cloninger. Not much of a hitter, but he's a left-hander, so we'll see what happens. Ty Klein at the plate. Two outs, nobody on. Cloninger into his windup. The pitch to Klein. That's 3 9 right handed, and that is a base hit by Klein. A base hit to left by Klein. Thrown in by Alex Johnson. Klein on first with two down. And here's Ron Brand. 0 for 3 today in the leadoff position. Bonnerger trying to get out of this. This is his endurance inning, his first endurance inning. Pitch to Brand. 5-3 right-handed, fly ball left. Alex Johnson, he's a four. Watch out. Drops in for a double. Klein goes to third. One more, he's out, Tony Cloninger. They're going to let him stay in. Here's Ron Fairley. Fairly one for three. 
Second and third, two down, Cloninger. And the pitch to Fairley. That's 2-5 right-handed. And that is a line drive to first, caught by May. And the side is retired. So, nice catch by May, no runs, two hits, two left. We've gone six, it's 8-4, Cincinnati. And that's it for Raymond. Roy Face will come in from the bullpen. The veteran, <coughs> I believe originally with the Pirates, will be back in a few minutes. My name's Jeffrey Guterman. I'm with Kathy Harden. Um, this is the Stratomatic Baseball Network. We're on the first of a double header here, and it's looking like it might be a long after a long day here for the Expos, but uh, it's eight to four through six. Cloninger was not really impressive uh, as far as I'm concerned, but he uh, he's managing to stay in this ball game. He's allowed four runs in six innings. He is actually he's staying in this ball game. Uh, face coming in, he'll take his warm ups. I'll be back in just a few minutes. This is the Stratomatic Baseball Network. <coughs> I'm hoping something big happens. You know, uh, I have a nihilistic side to me, you know? So I'm wondering, you know, something really, really big and something really, really tragic. Okay? I mean, let's, let's make it exciting. You know what I'm saying? Something huge. I did hear Zelensky say that Putin was thinking of committing a terrorist attack on one of their nuclear sites and releasing radiation. That would be something, huh? Another, uh, what was it? Uh, Chernobyl. Uh, folks, I'm just kidding, you know, uh, partly. If you press me, no, I don't want awful things to happen. But if it does happen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, follow it. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm twisted. Okay, I'll be back. When we do, it will be the uh, top of the seventh. Oh, remember Chernobyl? Oh, God. <coughs>
you know. Uh, the Reds are ten and a half out. If a, a sweep, they could move within nine and a half of the first place in the Braves. I'd like to see a good race in the West. Giants are about two games out. Two, two, two and a half. I'd have to look. It's on our community board. In fact, I just posted it this morning. I have my master, but I can look here. It's up to date. Since uh, Giants are two and a half out, yeah. The, uh, uh, the Reds are um, one game behind Houston Astros. So they could tie the Astros with a sweep. Astros doing amazing. Third place. I need to use the lavatory. And we'll continue this ball game. I don't know what it is, but I, I get these sort of premonitions, you know, and I have one that something big is going to happen today. Up of the first pot of the day, and Roy Face is ready. He's the third pitcher for the Expos today. Yeah. Roy Face. it off will be Lee May. May is two for three today. <sighs> Face is ready. Right hander. Here's the wind up and the pitch to May. 211. He grounds it to f uh, second. Sutherland has it. One away. Here in the top of the seventh. And now Pat Corrales, one for three, struck out twice, singled and scored on the triple by Cloninger. Ah, face winds and deals. 6 10, right hander, grounder to third. LaBoy of four. 7-4, and he boots it <laughs> for an error. That's the second error for the Expos. Those fours will catch up with you. 
Corrales is on. And here's Woody Woodward with one away. Face from the stretch. And the pitch to Woodward. That 6-5 right-hander grounds it to short. Wine, can he turn the double? 18-3. It's going to be a re-roll. 5-3. And he... Whoa! His only play is to first. And Corrales goes to second on the play. So it's two outs. Corrales on second. Here's Chico. Switch hitter batting left against Roy Face. Originally with the Pirates, I believe. He's on that 1960 championship team, I believe. Uh, two outs, Corrales in scoring position. The pitch to Chico. That's 310 right-handed. And there's going to be a base hit to right. Look how pretty that is. A clean base hit to right. Let's see if Corrales will stretch it home. Staub is a minus four. Forget about it. You won't even look at Corrales is running on that. So it's first and third, two down. And Cloninger comes up again. Now, he tripled <laughs> in the fifth, and he's had an interesting ball game here. <laughs> First and third, two down. <sighs> Pitch from face. Uh, that's a 2-6, and he struck him out. Almost hit a base hit there. Side retired. First strikeout by face, no runs, one hit, an error, two left. Middle of the seventh inning stretch here. 8 4 ball game. And Cloninger. Pitched decently inning in the sixth. He's settled down. He's in his endurance. Any combination of two hits or walks, he is fatigued. Carroll is available. He's sitting down right now. Here's Rusty Staub, two for two and a walk. Ah. Okay, Cloninger, the windup and the pitch to Staub. That's 4-8 left-handed, and that's going to be a base hit for Staub, his third hit of the game. One more, and he's through, Cloninger. Now Big Mac Jones, who hit the home run. Expos. Down by four here. Cloninger on fumes here in the seventh. Here's the pitch to Jones. That's 2-7 right-handed. Struck him out. Right in the middle of big trouble. He struck him out. And that is the third for Tony. If he retires the next two batters, he will be refreshed. Here's Coco LeBoy, one for three. What happened here? Jesus, look at that. <laughs> oh, Lord help me. <sighs> what the hell happened here? God. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, Coco. With one out and stop on first. <sighs> Here's the pitch to LeBoy. That's one seven right-handed, and that's going to be a double down the line for Coco. Stop goes to third and holds. And here comes Gene, Mo um, the, the manager. I forgot who, ma I don't know who managed the Reds here. That's it for Tony. That's it for Tony. 
That gives me a chance to make some coffee. Cloninger pitched six and one-third innings in this ball game. He allowed 11 hits. <clears throat> Not a very good performance. He walked three, struck out three, allowed four, and he's responsible for second and third, only one out. It's keeping it interesting. Absolutely. And that's it for Tony. And Clay Carroll. Perfect situation for Clay to be coming in, I think. Clay Carroll comes in from the bullpen. He's well rested. <clears throat> And he comes in on the cart, and he'll take his warm-up since this gives us a chance for a little break here. It's an 8-4 ball game. Uh, Bob Bailey will be the next batter. Carroll to take warm-ups. Bailey 0 for 2 with a walk. I'm going to make some coffee, and we get back here. It's an 8-4 ball game. We'll see if Clay can put out the fire. Ah, oh, that's good coffee. Wow. Oh, we're going to make more coffee. I don't think we're going to finish it here. And we're surely not going to have enough to start the second game this morning. Uh, we'll just keep it at 2 p.m. as scheduled. Unless something huge happens in the world. And, or if I just have a predilection not to play it. Uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anyone's going to lose any sleep over it. <clears throat> so Carol taking his warm-ups, and at this point I'll be making coffee. This is the Stratomatic Baseball Network. Okay, here's Clay Carroll. He's ready. Bailey in a big situation here. Second and third. Base hit here. Can bring in two runs. Expos down by four. Carroll from the stretch and the pitch to Bailey. 5-10 right-handed. Fly ball left. Johnson going back. That'll be deep enough for Staub to tag. And he makes the catch, Johnson. Staub comes home. It's an 8-5 to five ball game. Keeping it interesting. That's charged to Cloninger. 
And it's two outs with LeBoy on second. Here's Gary Sutherland. Okay, Carroll now. The pitch to Sutherland. That's one, two right-handed, grounds it to first. May takes it to the bag. And the side is retired. One more run though for the Expos through seven, eight, five Reds. All five will be charged to Cloninger. Not a great outing. And Face comes out for his second inning of relief. And this will be his endurance inning. Pete Rose leads it off. Pete is one for four. One of three triples by the Reds today. Stewart hit one back to back and then Cloninger, the pitcher, hit one. Okay, face is ready. Here's the pitch to Rose. 1-3, right-hander, base hit by Pete. That's Pete Rose for you. Rose on first, nobody out, top of the eighth. Now Jimmy Stewart, two for four. From the stretch face. 3-5, struck him out. Second for face. And here's Alex Johnson. He's two for four. Lots of hitting today. Face from the stretch. And the pitch to Johnson. 5-8. Right-hander pops him up to short. for wine Two away. And Tony Perez. That's 3-9 right-hander. Grounds it back to face, who throws it to Bailey at first. The side is out. So, no runs, a base hit, the leadoff single by Rose. We're heading to the bottom of the eighth. Carroll in the second inning. And actually, Carroll is not eligible for the save. Wait a minute, Carroll came in when it was eight to four. You know, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna give it to him with the runners on base. It's gonna be wine, then a pinch hitter for face. And then back to the order, Ron Brand. Here in the bottom of the eighth. Wine is 0 for 1, sacrifice fly and a walk. It's an 8 to 5 ball game. Expos down by 3. That coffee is almost ready, and I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, by the way, uh, there'll be a hitter for uh, face. And uh, it will be Don Shaw who comes into the ball game. He's a left-hander. Don Shaw will be the new pitcher, just to let you know, as that coffee is coming out. Face, two innings, two hits, struck out two, no runs for face. Shore would be the fourth pitcher for the Expos. Carroll. Jose Herrera, I see him. He's going to be the pinch hitter. 
He's he's starting in the second game of this doubleheader. But just to let you know, he will be the pinch hitter. Let me get some coffee, and we'll see how the Expos fare here in the bottom of the eighth. Carroll trying to save it here. <clears throat> Okay, Bobby Wine steps in. Here's Clay Carroll now. The wind up and the pitch to Wine. That's 3 6 right handed, and he grounds it to short. Woodward has it over to May, one away. And now here's Jose Herrera. Jose Herrera is the hitter. With one out, nobody on. As I said, Shaw warming in the bullpen. I am standing right now. I don't do enough of that. I should stand for all these games, or most of these games. Okay, Carroll now, with one out, nobody on. Here's the pitch to Herrera. Whoa! We'll have to re-roll that. I think it's a whole new re-roll. That didn't, that dropped. I didn't look. Five, six, right-hander. Base hit to right for Herrera. A nice single there. So Herrera's on first with one out. Here's Ron Brand. One for four. If you're gonna do that, by the way, if you thought you had a bad roll of the die, don't look. <coughs> don't even look at what it is if you're deciding to re-roll. Uh, do it quickly. Here's Ron Brand. Herrera on first one out. Carroll from the stretch. Whoa! That's good. That dive is here. 3-9, right-hander. Grounds it to third double play. Tony Perez turning the double. Taking the wind out of the sails of the Montreal Expos. No runs, one hit, none left. We've gone eight. It's an eight to four ball game. And here's the fourth pitcher for the Expos, Don Shaw. <clears throat> 5.21 ERA. <clears throat> Been a very interesting ball game. On some, some levels, a lot of banality in this ball game, but on some other levels, uh, uh, fairly uh, entertaining. Leading it off for the Reds now, facing Don Shaw here in the top of the ninth. It is Lee May. And if you're looking ahead to the bottom of the uh, top, bottom of the ninth, it will be fairly Staub and Jones, the heart of that Expos order. Okay, sure is ready, Kathy Hart. Here's the pitch to May. That's 4 7 right handed, walked him. May is on. Remember, Shaw 5.21 ERA. Here's Pat Corrales now. Again, Expos won this game in real world 8 to 3. Shoal will work from the stretch. Oh, I 
that's good coffee. Yeah. Here's the pitch to Corrales now. Uh, two four left handed pops him up to first, and Bob Bailey makes the catch one away. Now Woody Woodward. Woodward two for three and a sacrifice fly double down score. <coughs> Lots of hitting here for the Reds today. In fact, everybody in the lineup has a hit. Everyone. Okay, Shaw. The pitch to Woodward. Uh, six six right hander struck him out. Mm. Two down for Chico, and Chico is two for four. Switch hitter batting right against Shaw. Here's the pitch to Chico. That's 212. And he lines it to short. The side is out. No runs, no hits. The walk to May. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stranger things have happened, people. Expos down by four. Clay Carroll for the save. And Ron Fairley leads it off. Left-handed hitter, one for four with a double and score. Okay, here's Carroll now. The wind-up and the pitch to Fairley. That's 2-5 right-handed. And that's a line drive to first, caught by May. One down. And here's Rusty Stop, three for three. Walked, singled, knocked in two runs with a two-run home run. Struck out, uh, then singled and scored. Here's Rusty now. Uh, Carroll into his windup. Here's the pitch to Stop. That's three nine right-handed, walked him. Second walk drawn by Rusty. And Big Mac Jones, two for four, had a two-run blast in the fifth. They could sure use that now, but that still wouldn't be enough. It's Staub on first one down. Oh, that's good coffee. Whoa. Here's the pitch to Jones. 4-8, left-handed, walked him. So it's first and second. Expo's keeping it interesting. Uh, six and one-third. This is Carroll's endurance inning. Holy shit. One, two, actually one more out. I'm sorry, one, uh, one and two thirds, two. This is his endurance inning. How do you like that? Here's Coco LeBoy. That's one, you got to figure it out, one and two thirds, and then that's two innings. And then everything after that is the third inning. So Clay Carroll in his endurance inning, there is action in the Reds bullpen. It's, let's see who it's going to be with Big Bob Bailey, uh, Coco LeBoy coming up. Warming for the Reds. Uh, Ramos, Jackson, and Carroll pitched in real world. We're going to just go with the line there. Uh, I'm not going to cheat or cut quarters. But I'm going to have, actually, I'm going to go with George Culver, a right hander. Oh, yeah, we've seen some huge moments in the ninth. Absolutely. And we got also Al Jackson, a left-hander. The two of them are warming. Look at Jackson, 6.81 ERA. Culver, 
a right-hander, both warming. Carroll trying to get out of this. One more hit or walk, and he is out. He is fatigued. Coco is two for four today. Singleton scored, doubled. Okay, here's Clay Carroll now from the stretch. This is a big, big, big at bat for Coco LeBoy on the pitch. That's 310 right handed. Fly ball to right. And Pete Rose makes the catch. Two away. Big out. And now Bob Bailey. Carroll trying to get out of this. Two outs, bottom of the ninth, first and second. Expos down by four. Here's the pitch from Carroll. Bailey, 3-7. Fly ball center field. This should end the ball game. Jimmy Stewart under it, and the game is over. Reds win. Final score, Cincinnati 8, Montreal 5. Very interesting ball game. The win goes to Cloninger. Carroll gets the save. Carroll pitched uh, two and two thirds. Ran into trouble here in the ninth. Allowed one hit, walked two, struck out none, and allowed no runs. Shaw, four, five. Uh, Renko gets the loss. Four, six, eight. Shaw pitched one inning. Uh, Cincinnati final line, eight runs, 15 hits, wow, zero errors. Expos five runs on 12 hits and two errors. So that's the ball game. I will resist uh, doing even a star of the game. I can't. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, people. I mean, Stewart, I don't know who the hell. Maybe Cloninger with two RBIs. <laughs> but he didn't pitch very well. That's the ball game. We have another one coming. It's scheduled for this afternoon. And it's going to be Jerry Arrigo for the Cincinnati Reds and Bill Stoneman for the Expos. Uh, thank you, Kathy Harden. Don't engage the trolls. That is such good advice, and I'm going to remember you uh, telling me just that. On behalf of Kathy Harden, I'm Jeffrey Guterman. This is the Stratomatic Baseball Network. Stay strong, everybody. Stay well, and we'll catch you next time.